Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. I am really excited because today I've gotten in most of my new pots and pans and stuff like that to start the process of making this house a lot more toxic free. So I think I mentioned it in the previous vlog, but something that I actually started working on last summer, but life just got busy, um, was I wanted to start eliminating all of the plastic in our house. With that, I replaced our like plastic containers that we put our food in with glass. And then I started going down a rabbit hole and it got me on the like BPA kick. And I'm a believer that, you know, some things are fine in moderation, but like if you look at everything that like has BPA in it or has toxins in it or is made of like harsh chemicals, you know that there's nothing moderate about at least the life I live. So I got some stuff from Amazon. Oh. And some of this stuff is just like regular crap from Amazon that I ordered. So this is just gonna be a big old Amazon haul. Okay, so the first thing that I actually purchased, so um, I have a water bottle that I bought from Amazon. It is BPA free, but I'm really bad about putting my water bottles in the washing, in the dishwasher um, after a few days or you know, after I've used it. Um, and I'll just like keep refilling it and that's just like really gross. So I bought a second bottle, but this one is glass. Really helped my water intake. So, um, some of the stuff in here I actually already have opened. This cuddle is one of the things that I bought because the, and this was one of the first things I read, like if you want to just really get rid of BPA in your house, and a lot of times like BPA, I think it's like activated more when it comes in contact with hot water. So like some things are BPA free until they get put in the dishwasher, which there's so many, just, it's a lot. But one of the things I read was get rid of your like plastic like water heater, kettle, whatever you choose to call it. And I was thinking, and I was like, literally had mine since like college, about 26 in March. It's too old. It's probably got all the BPA in it. So I got a glass kettle. This one is really, really nice. And, um, let's see if I show it to you. And what I really like about it, so the one that I had, I already tossed it, was plastic. And it was like the whole thing was one piece. So like the cord was attached to it, so you couldn't put it in the dishwasher, which I didn't love. Uh, so you had to like hand wash it, and then you had to be careful about the plug-in. So this one, this is what you have to like plug into the wall, and then this is the actual kettle, which I really like. So it's two separate pieces. Not that this is necessarily dishwasher safe, but I just like that it's two separate pieces. Um, but this one looks really, really nice. So that is one of the first things I bought because I was like, okay, I gotta get rid of my four million year old little plastic water heater. I got some of the uh, Dr. Bronner's 18 in one hemp lavender pure Castile soap. Um, a lot of you guys said that this is not the best when used with your hair. Um, there's a lot of uses for it. So on here you can wash hands, face, body. Um, you can use it as a hair rinse. You can use it for your dishes, laundry, mopping the floor, washing your dog, washing your fruit and vegetables as an all purpose cleaner, um, to shave for plants. So it's like a really natural wash. It is rated zero on the Think Dirty app. So I got that because the soap that you use, just, just Google what's in like your regular antibacterial soap. You won't sleep for days. Um, the Dr. Bronner's peppermint all in one toothpaste. Now, I use Sensodyne, actually Sam and I use Sensodyne just because it's easier for like him to use whatever toothpaste I can use. I have really sensitive teeth. And Sensodyne only rates a four, which isn't still great on the um, Think Dirty app. This rates three. A lot of you guys told me that Trader Joe's toothpaste has fluoride in it and it rates zero. So that's something you're kind of worried about. Definitely go with the Trader Joe's. And then this was another thing that I read is like you really need to get rid of and something I didn't think about, all those plastic utensils that you use in your kitchen. Um, and look up green washing. I know this is a lot of information to be throwing in a vlog, but you can also look up green washing. I didn't know that was a thing and a lot of you guys sent me articles about it. Basically, it's a company will say that their product is super healthy and toxic free and when you actually like look into the nitty gritty of it, it's not. And that is the case with a lot of like plastic. They'll say BPA free, but then they say, you know, oh, not dishwasher safe. But when you put it in the dishwasher, it doesn't melt or anything. And, but it's actually, that's how you get the BPA. So it's just easier to get rid of it. So I bought these utensils, these like wooden utensils. Um, 
kitchen. So it comes with three different kinds of spatulas. And Sam was really excited about these. I was very surprised. I thought he was gonna be like, cause he's usually just like, Mariah, please, please just don't. Just, that's too difficult. But he was really excited about these. Um, it comes with three different kinds of like stirring and spoons, a little like, I guess you'd say that's a ladle, but not really these. So um, I'm able to get rid of all the plastic utensils that we cook with in our house. Make me excited. So here's the regular mail that came today. I have not opened any of this stuff. I do not do credit cards here. He sent me a credit card with my name on it. I think I heard my violence in here. So. Some of this isn't, like I said, some of this is just like regular stuff I ordered from Amazon. This is a top I ordered from Amazon, random. These are the vitamins that I take that I'm out of. You guys, I feel so successful. So Sam turns 25 in, I feel like less than 10 days at this point. And he's just not, he's not someone who, he just doesn't do the best at taking care of himself. I have convinced him that 25 needs to be his year. And I've got him taking multivitamins now. Pat on the back for me. I got my stubborn ass sassy husband to take a multivitamin every day. It's the little things, you guys. This, I believe, is my green drink. One of my New Year's resolutions was to add more greens to my diet because your girl doesn't eat anything green. I literally will eat like asparagus, you know, a couple times a week. I'll eat like broccoli once in a blue moon. Your girl needs more greens in her diet. So I've been really good about that this year. So I got the, this one got amazing reviews. Amazing grass green superfood. And one of the things that sold me on this was someone in the review section was like, if I wanted something sweet, I would have eaten a cookie. It's not great, but drink it anyway. Like that's essentially what they said. So I'm gonna start making my morning smoothies with this rather than like just fruit. I usually like really sweet smoothies. Um, don't have a lot of greens in my diet. So that was my goal this year and I've been doing very good. This is the one I was most excited about. So Google what's in your nonstick pans. So uh, if you basically look up like nonstick pans are just, they're terrible, terrible for you. Just like your average little nonstick pan. So I got new pots and pans because Pretty much all of ours are nonstick. And they're just terrible for us. This is like a 14 piece set, I think. Oh God. Maybe great for your body, but the packaging that they come in is not great for the environment. That's for sure. So the, I got the black set for from Green Pan. Um, so, little baby pot. I got black, obviously, because I live with a man. I don't break it, it's just easier to do it this way. Came with a medium-sized pan. I like how deep this one is, and I don't know the like, actual name of all of these names on them. I like the size of this one a lot, and how deep the inside is, because I feel like, like it does come with a regular skillet. None of our non-sticks have lids, and they're not deep, and I feel like this one's gonna be like you can mark my words now, this is gonna be our most used. Large and medium skillet or small and medium, small and, came with either a large and medium or medium and small skillet, I'm not quite sure, and then it came with a strainer. So I'm going to work on getting all of these put in the dishwasher. It took the cats 0.4 seconds to go ahead and claim that box as their own. So I've got a lot to clean up. Um, four seconds, Allie. I've literally had the stuff on the counter for four seconds. But I'm just gonna go ahead and start kind of like hand washing all of this stuff and getting it just put up. Um, so that is that for the non-toxic portion of this video. I really don't have anything else I don't think being delivered until like Monday. So you might see that in a later portion. Um, I'm not quite sure, but I'll keep you guys updated as it goes. Right now I gotta go get these cats because they're just all acting a daggum full. But it might just be dehydration, honestly. Oh, it's probably Tons it. Of coffee. Yeah, so it is date night now. Um, oh God, I gotta wait till the sun kind of levels itself out. Look at how cute this little man looks. He refused to wear a coat. It's He's 42 like, out, you don't wear a coat when it's 42. Yes you do, it's cold. All right, we're good. Um, but it's just, it's date night and Sam and I were arguing about um, coats. Cause I was like, you're like a middle schooler who like doesn't want to wear coats. like. Because you're afraid about, you know, like you want your people to see your outfit. Like, just put on a coat. 
it's cold. At least to me, it's very cold. You know the reasoning? What? I don't want to carry a coat around. Because I know it's too hot, I'm not going to wear it. I'm going to it's carry. not too hot. He's going to get cold. You mark my words. But. Do a little... Oh no. We have to actually do a Sam's Club run tonight. Um, we need like coffee. Do we need coffee pods? We probably should have checked. I mean, might as well just get them over there. Yeah. Um, and then something else. Eggs. I really have been into eggs lately, so like I need to get eggs from Sam's Club. But we'll have to look because they should have 12s, but I think they might have to buy two dozen. Oh no, we don't need to. I, thought, I was hoping they'd have like I 18. They, I think they have 12s. Okay, I hope they have 18s, but we'll see. One thing that super annoys me, like really bad, is when you go into a store, this is random, and something is happening, and everyone around you acts as if it is only happening to them. That is a huge pet peeve of mine. Um, I'm not a big, like, complainer and we just were in Sam's Club and like the line to get out like if you've ever been to a Sam's Club you know it's like backed out the door like they have to scan your receipt and stuff it was like backed up so far and everyone was acting as if it was only happening to them and like they were just so inconvenienced and it just was the worst thing to ever happen to them and I'm just like dude we're all in this line like we're all here waiting just stop your complaining it's gonna be okay we're gonna make it Okay, <laughs> that happened on our honeymoon. Like the, do you remember that? Those freaking computers? Oh, in the airport? Yes, yeah, so when we got, when we were on our honeymoon, um, the- uh, Yeah, one got pitched a fit. Oh, he pitched a fit. It was American Airlines and their computers were down. All of the American Airlines computers were down and they were doing everything uh, that they could. The, the self-service little booth you're That's supposed to right. go through yes. to check a bag to yes. make faster went down. So they were having to do it by hand. By hand. And it, like these people were acting like it was the worst thing in the world and it was only happening to them. And they were like complaining and wanted everyone to agree with them and they would like turn around, look at you for validation and be like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, see? And this one guy was like super aggressive about it to the point that he even was like people, you know, airports, like people walk through you in traffic. Like if you have a really long line, you know, you make a space, someone walks in between you. He was like, don't let anybody else in between here. If we're having to wait in this line, they're gonna have to walk around us. And I was just like, dude, literally every human being that I'm looking at in this airport right now is trying to get on an American Airlines flight. It ain't just you, bud. But that's my little story time. The lights are a little crazy, so I'm gonna cut the camera off here, but I just, mm, people are the worst. People are actually the worst. Okay, so I'm gonna link these Verb Energy Bars below for you guys. This is the vanilla latte. It is so good. It's like one bar has as much caffeine as an espresso, and it's only 90 calories. I started eating these maybe last year. They're really good. I think it was, I actually think it was last January. It was last January I started eating those because I remember we only really get snow in January. And I remember it was snowing when they came and I was like hoping that they would come. And I was afraid the snow was gonna throw the mail off. So the first things I got were these. So I got two of these. Um, they're like little glass jars. You can put them on your counter or you can put them in your cabinet. I'm gonna use this for our cabinet storage because we have a lot of pasta, a lot of rice. I have some chia seeds that I need to store just a lot of things. So I actually bought two of these sets. I bought two of these sets. These go with the um, laundry stuff that I bought. And like the dishwasher pods will go in here just because I don't prefer to leave stuff in their box. Like it's just a look. So this isn't really necessary. Like you don't need a glass for something. Let's put laundry, but I bought four of those, like two sets of those. I guess I'm gonna take a trip to the dump. All this cardboard. Yeah. So they're 96 ounces each. And like I said, the ones I got come in a set of two. Actually, I think I might even use one of those for our coffee because we have our coffee right now just in one of our flower vases. So I might actually use that one. Oh, this I'm really excited about. So I got some labels for everything for my pantry. So I got some for laundry, some for the pantry. Super excited about that. Ooh, these are little handle scooper things. Okay, so they're scoops with handles. I know English. I bought these to go in the little glass jars. 
how freaking cute are these? Look at it. So you can like put it in your little jar with your laundry stuff. Huh. Ooh, okay, so I got these 16 ounce clear glass bottles that have a pump on them because I wanted to take that soap that I got and then put it in an actual pump um, so they can use it in the shower. A lot of you guys told me that that Dr. Bronner's soap is like really good if you just put it in a pump because like it can be a lot to try and dump out. So I've got two of those. <clears throat> glass container oh god what other glass containers did i get oh okay so we use glass little like storage containers for our food but we didn't have any big ones so i got a little five pack of these that are all glass so it's glass lid and the bottom of it's glass as well oh that's definitely plastic Get for not writing the fine print, Mariah. Okay, so I now have a mess like you. It's like, it's just chaotic. So I'm gonna cut this out here, cause that's all. So I was gonna close the vlog out, but my grow cloud of stuff finally showed up. Just got back from taking Doug on a walk and that dog is crazy. It's freezing outside. So first thing I got, another, oh God, they're definitely not, are these seventh generation. Oh, the lid cracked. Um, oh, it's just all danged up. Seventh generation Clark Swipes. Okay, a bunch of stuff like popped over here. Okay, so it's just ejecting whoever scores. Oh, the Mrs. Myers candle. I got the lavender scent. Just because I really wanted to try it. I love candles, especially this time of year. Um, the Method Daily Shower Spray, Eucalyptus Mint. Cleans without having to rinse. The Clean Day Fabric Softener from Mrs. Myers. I grabbed the Method Stain Remover. Um, cause your girl be a chaotic mess. Method Glass Cleaner. This is one of the major things that I needed. Seventh Generation Toilet Bowl Cleaner. All right, and then the other two things I got are Dishwasher detergent packs from Grove. That's like the Grove Collaborative brand. And then the Grove Collaborative laundry detergent packs. So that's a little Grove Collaborative haul. Um, but I'm freezing and I'm gonna start making dinner soon. So I'm actually gonna close it out here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next vlog.